Today Saint of the Day of January 31 is Saint John Bosco. Saint John Bosco, 1815-1888, always kept his eyes fixed on eternity in the very delicate historical period of Risorgimento and Unitary Italy, whose control was largely exercised by liberal Masonic and anti-Catholic forces. As Pius XI wrote in the decree for his canonization, the works and supernatural graces that distinguished the saints. Entire life made universal the opinion that, by divine providence, in order to promote the Christian restoration of human society, diverted from the path of truth, God had sent John Bosco. His was a troubled childhood. Born in Castelnuovo di Asti, Today Castelnuovo Don Bosco, into a peasant family, his father, Francesco, died when he was not yet two years old, and his mother, Margarita, today, venerable, had to multiply her labors. Maternal education was fundamental for him, who at just nine years old had the first heavenly revelation in the form of a prophetic dream. How will you write in the memoirs, saw a lot of guys. Some laughed, others played, not a few blasphemed. At that moment he saw a majestic man, with a face so luminous that he could not fix his eyes on him, he introduced himself as the son of she whom your mother taught you to greet three times a day, asking him to be friends with her. Those boys, with charity and knowledge, explained to them that sin is something bad, and that friendship with the Lord is a precious good. Next to him appeared a majestic woman and then ferocious animals, which became meek and cheerful lambs. This is your field, you must work. Here, the woman told him, adding, you must do it for my children. Since he was a child, Juan showed his talents and the desire to study, which, however, always had to reconcile with family difficulties. He worked as a messenger, waiter, blacksmith, carpenter, learning the rudiments of the trades that he would later transmit to the boys in the artisanal laboratories created in the oratories. In Chieti he met Luigi Comalo, 1817-1839, often insulted and beaten by his companions, to whom he addressed words of forgiveness, while one tried to defend him by fighting with those who attacked him. A deep friendship was born between the two in Christ, which he will remember thus, I can say that from him I have begun to learn to live as a Christian. Meanwhile, he had founded the Society of Joy, with which he tried to attract his contemporaries to prayer, attracting them with games and acrobatics, in which he was very skillful. The meeting with Don Giuseppe Cafasso, 1811-1860, followed the saint who advised John at certain decisive moments, such as when he decided to enter the seminary, where he was able to deepen his knowledge of the Holy Scriptures and study dogmatics and morals. In 1841 he was ordained a priest and on December 8 of the same year, before celebrating Mass, he found the bricklayer Bartolomeo Garelli, 16 years old, orphan, poor, and illiterate. In a short time other boys in difficulty joined together, thus the Oratory of St. Francis de Sales was born, dedicated to the great French saint, whose writings had been precious in his spiritual maturation. Don Bosco's work spread rapidly, and in 1854 he instituted the Salesian Society to continue over time this charity that was based on the idea of forming honest citizens and good Christians with the purpose that most interested him, the salvation of the souls. As the adolescent saint, Dominic Savio, said, We, here, in the school of Don Bosco, make holiness consist in being very happy and in the perfect fulfillment of our duties. The preventive system which was the basis of his pedagogy rested on three pillars, reason, religion, tenderness. In 1872, with the help of Saint Maria Domenica Mazzarello, 
He founded the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians to extend to girls the same educational charity offered to boys, to whom he said, Be joyful, but do not sin. For these reasons he devoted his whole life to defending the church, that power attacked more and more. Famous is the dream in which he saw a terrible battle at sea, where the great boat guided by the Pope was attacked by a multitude of boats, until it found safe anchorage between two columns, in the first was the Eucharist, with a writing health of believers, on the other, Mary Immaculate, help of Christians. He exhorted Vittorio Emanuele to not to sign the law on the suppression of religious orders and the reversion of his assets to the state. The family of those who steal from God suffers and does not reach the fourth generation. He prophesied, he had conflicts with the Protestants and suffered opposition from the secular press. Because he understood the importance of the press in making or breaking a Christ-oriented society. He edited numerous publications, the metric system, the history of Italy, Catholic readings, etc., and wrote lives of saints, pontiffs, and various other works on history and the truths taught by the Church. He was also a miracle worker, and the prodigies he performed are countless. It is understandable why Satan tried to hinder him in every way, even disturbing his sleep during the night hours. But Don Bosco endured everything to preserve the souls of those children that Jesus and Mary had already entrusted to him in the dream he had when he was nine years old. You have to tell the devil to stop deceiving so many young people, to stop attracting so many to hell, then I too will stop sacrificing myself for them. In his last days on earth, he recommended to a collaborator of his that he tell his boys say that I wait for you all in paradise. Patron saint of educators, youth, students, publishers. Thank you for watching please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Of.